Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everybody. We have a fun thing to do today. We harvested a lot of corn back in the fall, and instead of taking it right into a co-op and selling it, we have been storing it in a bin. Now that it's February, it is time to sell it and haul it into somewhere. The weather is kind of cleared up, the snow and the ice is melted off the roads. It's not super warm outside, but I'm hoping that it's not too cold and the truck will start. So we're going to be hauling some corn today, but before we can get out on the road, hook the trailer up, all that kind of things, we need to go through the truck. We need to check the oil, check the water, check the tires, and then ultimately see if this thing starts. So first thing we're going to do is pop the hood. If you remember, was probably last year about this time. Grant and I had been looking for a semi-truck for kind of a while, and we found this thing on an auction, and uh, if you remember correctly, Grant bought this accidentally. This wasn't exactly what we were looking for, but Grant was just trying to test out his account and see if it would actually work to bid, and uh, he only bid once, and this was the winning bid. So we ended up taking this thing home, put some work into it, and it's, not what we had in mind, like I said, but it definitely gets the job done. Come on. Might need to gain some weight. Let's try from the side. This might be easier. There we go. Okay. We hauled corn with this um, last year in the spring, and then we also, oh, that's not the dipstick. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. <laughs> um, let's see. We hauled corn with this um, last spring, and then we used it all harvest and it worked pretty well for us. I think we might top that off. Now it's cold up here. There we go. Ooh, we are good. All right, grab a hammer and check the tires. So I am not any kind of super trucker by trade. Um, this is something new to me and I'm learning. So this will be probably the next couple weeks, the first full year of me hauling corn and just driving a semi-truck in general. Anyways, but this is something I learned this harvest. You check the tires, just hit it with a hammer, and it should bounce right back at you. Kind of a lot of tires on this thing. <laughs> Might as well check the trailer tires while we're at it. Grant does a very nice job packing things in here tightly. As you can see, our other trailer is right up to the hitch of the grain cart. It's like Tetris getting things in and out of here. Just try to make the most of the space that we have. I mm. think we'll probably need to put some air in that one before we head out, but one more here. We do have an air compressor on the fuel trailer out here, so we'll probably use that. Okay, all the rest of them look pretty good. We will add some oil now. Oh, oh, oh. Full service. Oil. My yeah. goodness, it is full service. I'll trade you off here. One of the odds I can do this without spilling any. I would say slim to none. Taking immense strength and focus. I like that. That's better. That's much better. All right, let's get this closed up and get some air in the tire. Okay. Nice. Ready. Probably should just unplug it while we're here. Why are we plugging this? So we don't forget. Okay. I think we're ready. Had the batteries charging up. When was the last time this thing was started, Grant? Um, probably when we washed it and put it away after hours. Probably. Oh man. So it's been a couple months. Yeah, mid. No, yeah, probably mid November. Okay. Well, you just tell me when you're ready. She's ready. Easy peasy. I 
a lot of smoke. Nice. Turn this off. All right, so it's been a while since I've actually driven this thing, probably three months. I drove it a lot during harvest, but it takes me just a little while to get used to it. So take the brakes off, put it in gear. Try backing up just a fuzz. Okay. And then we'll see if maybe the trailer tire brakes are locked up or something. Okay. Okay, go forward, go forward. Building has gravel floors and they spin out so easy. This one's spinning. Go forward! Oh, yeah. Uh, we might have to pull you, pull you out of here. Have our faithful JLG telehandler ready to go. Got our uh, Yankum rope here. I went with a small one because the truck's not full and it's just, it'll just need a little bump to get out. So I got some soft shackles on there. Should be pretty easy. Hopefully, this is. Oh, there we go. Okay. Good to go. Let's get out of here. Stretch. Oh, look at all the water coming out of that rope. There we go. That wasn't too bad. You see that water come out of the rope? Yeah, that was, that was insane. I used it this weekend to uh, pull the side by side out of the snow and it got all wet. It wasn't too bad. We just needed a little extra encouragement, I think. It's Monday, so I just need a little something to get it started. Forward. Yep. Yeah, this way a little bit. Yeah. Just barely squeeze by. And we'll air the tire up. I don't want to forget to close the traps. Get the trailer opened up. This thing is really nice for mobile fuel pumping and air compressor work, but also it's just really nice to have all this stuff in this building. Thank you, Toolmaster. Appreciate it. Just fits by the planter weights. Do I have to get in between the tires to fill this thing up? I don't think I like whoever designed that. Now if the tire explodes, it can hit all three of us instead of just one of us. Yeah. Like a hundred. A hundred? And that's only at 50? Oh man, yeah, we need to get after this. We're gonna be here a long time. Don't let me lose this. I'm putting it in my pocket. Let's give it a check here. Look at that. Right on the money. Can't forget about the cap now. Let's see if I can get it put back on. I've got skinny fingers. How do regular people do this? All right, now we're ready to go. Stand back. Different. That's a uh, rookie mistake right there. I told you it was going to take me a little while. 
<laughs> All right. Now I'll close them. How's that corn look? ready to see something really really handy it is this remote control that kind of looks like a flip phone it turns on when you open it up and you can see 100 percent open that's our tarp on the front but if you go to your main menu here we can go to our front hopper and start opening it up i better check just to be sure that i'm actually over the grate first though oh yeah all right ready Okay, front hopper is all the way open and empty. Going to close this one. And we can just start closing it as we're pulling out. I don't have to be cranking, it's super nice. I always get just a little bit nervous pulling out of this because it's pretty close, but I haven't hit anything yet. All right, we got our ticket and it looks pretty good. Just over a thousand bushels. Put this in here for safekeeping. And back to the farm to get another load. I am grateful to have a semi truck that runs well though. Grant and I put a lot of money into this thing. We got it for super cheap on auction. Um, and that translated into super high repair and maintenance bills. But I think we finally have it to a point where it drives nicely, so that's good. Severe lack of people waving at each other. When I'm in a car and a semi truck waves at me, I feel so cool. Nothing. What's the point of driving a semi truck? No one's going to wave at you. The first time I unload and I know I'm lined up correctly, I always try to put some kind of marker like a piece of wood or a big rock so I know that this is the first place I need to stop and I'm lined up 
and then I do the same thing for my second spot, that log up there. Well, good. I always double check that my tarp is open and my traps are closed and we do it all over again. When I'm out here by myself, oh, look at all the chaff in my hair. It's just a lot of back and forth, up and down, slowing it down. It kind of takes a while. If you want to know why the farmers, you know, always have dandruff, corn chaff, or some people call it bees wings. Not too shabby. Back to town we go. Before we take off on the road, I want to be sure to close my tarp. I just have to press one button and it goes automatically, which is really nice. Just have to be sure to leave this open and make sure it actually closes. It's really cool. Everything is done through electronic tags. So I just have a little tag hanging in my window. And when I roll up and they probe me, then they already know who I am and who this corn goes to. It's really cool. You get probed and it essentially just takes a very small sample of grain, puts it to a person in a scale house and they test it. And then that determines where you dump your corn. They're testing it for the moisture and the quality of it. Then you just proceed onto a scale where they weigh you before you dump and then a scale after you dump. I have to say I take great pride in having my name on each scale ticket. Hauling corn went really well today and we still have a lot more to do. I did just wanna tell you guys about something really cool. In March, I'm going to be going up to Utah and competing in Matt's off-road games. I don't know if you've heard of his channel, but he does vehicle recovery in Utah. Matt is a very cool guy and I am so excited to meet him. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick message from the person who I'm going to be partnering up with for the games. All right, so we got invited to the off-road games March 14th, 15th, and 16th. We ended up getting teamed up with Laura from Laura Farms. We're super excited. Now, we got Trailmator. Trailmator's a little technical and difficult to drive. It's a standard. This is what we plan on taking. We have to do some modifications to it to make it fit a shorter driver, and we are very excited to do this event. Looking forward to seeing all you guys out there so you can cheer us on and have some fun with it.
I could not be more excited to be on Rory from Trailmaters team. I think we are going to do great. So tickets are on sale now for the event. I would love to meet you guys. I'm going to have a booth set up there. You could come say hi. You can watch me drive around and there's going to be a lot of other really cool contestants there as well. So thank you for watching today's video. If you haven't already, now is your chance to subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye.